Hey, hi. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we basically configure the ingress controller in the AKS cluster and how we can um, do the pathways routing uh, with the two applications that I'm going to deploy. So basically, this is how this is the VM uh, which I have in Azure. And uh, here I'm going to deploy the ingress controller which will have a public IP. And because of the ingress service, where we're going to have the two routing rules defined, it's going to route the traffic to two different pods. Uh, so this will be the AKS Hello World 1. And the other one is AKS Hello World 2. So if the request is for the AKS Hello World 1, it's going to route the traffic here to this particular port. And if the request is for the AKS Hello World 2, then it's going to route the traffic uh, to this another port. So. Okay, so this is the step-by-step -step configuration. So I'll just walk you through first. AKS cluster I've already created. And uh, post that, uh, I'm going to create a namespace with the name ingress uh, uh, Engineering, uh, And this is how I'm going to create this. And post that, I'm going to add the Helm repo. Uh, this will this this basically has the Helm charts to install uh, the in, Nginx uh, image. So I'm going to add the repo, and I'm going to update the repo. And this is the command to install uh, the Nginx Ingress Nginx. Post that, I'm going to deploy two applications: uh, Hello World One and Hello World Two. Uh, if you want, I can also show you the YAML file for that. One minute. So, this. Okay. this is the application. It's going. Everything is going to go in the default namespace except the uh, Nginx, uh, which is the ingress controller. Uh, application is getting deployed uh, in the default namespace and uh, this is the the container name and uh, this is the service uh, we basically need to create the cluster service also uh, cluster service is basically required for port to port communication this uh, this basically gets the internal private IP this doesn't let the port communicate outside but this is just required for the internal communication. Uh, same goes for AKS port, uh, AKS Hello World 2, and this will this will have uh, this will also have this uh, particular cluster service created. So I'm um, just to uh, walk you through this. Uh, so this is how I'm going to install the two application and then I'm going to create the cluster service and there is another YAML file for this where cluster service basically has the actual configuration. So this is the ingress, kind is ingress and uh, here kind is basically deployment. Here kind is ingress and this is going to be the name and uh, this is where I've defined the two paths. Uh, one for the hello world one and uh, since there is no host defined uh, it will be accessible based on the IP so IP and slash if you depend this it's gonna access hello world one and uh, if it if you append hello world two it's gonna access the another application if you just define the IP then it's gonna it's going to be the hello world uh, one application okay 
so hello world one i have to find you and uh, yeah this is the basically title for the hello world one and this is the title for hello world two so let's start with the deployment so i'm going to bring up my aks cluster i'm going to start the Okay, I think I already have this one out. Okay, perfect. So I'll just maximize this. I'll first show you the pods. So let me just log in first. So let me use the command. This one. I, I already have two applications deployed, but let me show you CTL this. There's no name namespace. I'm just checking if I have the engineers deployed. Okay. I'm going to delete these two pods first. I'm just doing the cleanup uh, from my previous setup. So I will just pause it for some time. Okay, all the cleanup is done. I'll just show you. Uh, cube ctl get ingress there is nothing cube ctl get ns so there is no namespace created and cube ctl get pods uh, okay cube ctl oh okay get deployment okay i need to basically get replicas replicas so get replica keep CTL get deployment I have to remove these two requirements. Keep CTL, delete requirement. Basically, uh, once I delete the deployment, it will delete everything. Uh, I need to. So now I can check. Keep CTL, get parts. Okay, so it's terminating. Um, keep CTL get SVC. Okay, this should also be gone. Keep CTL get delete SVC. Okay, now everything is gone. I'll just start uh, 
with the creation. So I'll go step by step. This uh, I have already executed. So I'll execute. I'll first create the namespace. Okay, so I'll just keep CTL get ms. This is the namespace I've created. Now I'll add the repo, Helm repo. Keep so Helm list repo. Uh, and the code list. Okay. Now I'll update the repo. Then, and the post that I'm going to install this inside this. So I'll copy this first. I'll just show you kubectl uh, get all hyphen ns just ingress hyphen ngx so there is nothing okay I'll just paste this so I'll pause this for some time okay now uh, the installation is done I'll cross check uh, CTL get all hyphen ls ingress hyphen ngmx you must specify on the source Okay, so the command is kubectl get all hyphen n in this engine I'll just run it again. So we can see uh, these many resources are provisioned under this namespace. We have one pod uh, running and two services. And one of the services has a public IP. This is going to be used for accessing the resources. And uh, yeah, one replica set, one deployment. Okay. Now, if you want to see uh, where exactly this particular IP is assigned, uh, it is basically assigned to a local source. So, if I go to the resource group, this is the resource group, and uh, there is a local answer, central IP, if you see. This has this particular IP assigned. Okay. Now, at the moment, if we try to access this, uh, it is not going to function because the application is not deployed yet. Okay. So now uh, I'll move to the next step of deploying the application. Hello world. So I already have uh, this available. This is my YAML file, which I already showed you. Uh, this is the content of the YAML file. It is basically deploying two application and two services. So, I'll just to show you. So, keep CTL, get this VC. Only one. Okay, I'm going to upload this. Okay. 
Okay, so the application is deployed. Keep it here, get pods. I can see both. Keep it here, get SEC. I can see two services are also defined. Okay, now the next part is uh, after deployment, we need to deploy the ingress service. Ingress service also I showed you. This is my ingress service. We have, uh, we have defined two paths and uh, this is a service name for this particular path request which is going to uh, forward it to this one and for this particular path it is going to this particular path it is going to forward to this one by default it will be uh, AKS hello world hyphen one so let's quickly deploy uh, this one also so I'll upload the file again this is my English service Service. Okay, so this is also deployed. So I can see here. Keep it here. Get ingress. This is going to show you. And if I want to describe it a little bit more, then I can use. Uh, This will keep sitting. Describe this. So under describe, it is going to show for this particular path, the backend is this particular service. For this particular path, backend is this service. For this particular path, is the backend is this. And what is the host? Host I have not defined. It is going to take by default host as a Mm, uh, public IP and public IP is nothing but it is the IP of the ingress service which is inside this kubectl get uh, svc hyphen n ingress ng x this is, is the ingress container and this is the public IP so if I try to access this now See what happens. It is HTTP slash slash. See it is working. And if I type this as AKS hello world two, this is the hello world one, one and two. Okay, so this concludes uh, my practical for deploying uh, the ingress controller, and this is also for the path pathways writing routing. Um, one more thing, I just want to show how do you we basically search for a repo uh, inside Helm. So basically. Helm repo list, and this list may have a lot of uh, uh, lot of basically images. So we can search here Helm search repo, and this is the repo. All right. So thank you.